Man, I just had to take a second to just look at that. Wow. That. Look at this. We got all gold everything. We literally have all gold everything, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going, guys? Today is a very exciting day for me because today is the day that I am doing the re-review and the re-unboxing of the hi Man RE2000 Pros. But as you know, um, the RE2000 Pro Gold were, in my opinion, the best in-ear headphone I've ever heard. And that still comes true after hearing the Mest by Unique Melody MK3. I heard uh, the Loki. I heard the Lab 1. I heard, when I was in Singapore, I heard a bunch of stuff. Um, link in the description to uh, that video. There is nothing in-ears that can come close to um, the hi fi men's here. Uh, these are... These are undoubtedly um, the best in-ear monitor that money can buy. Um, in my opinion, sounding, sound-wise, these are still, comparing to everything I've heard, the best uh, in-ear headphones I've ever heard. Wow. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a live one. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a live one. So, like I said, I still I was thinking like maybe I just haven't heard any like super high end, um, super high end headphones before. But now after hearing other, or I'm in any ear headphones, but after hearing other, um, other ones, <laughs> well, it's like uh, it's like Christmas all over again. Yeah, I'm gonna. It says I'm sorry. I'm just really excited because. I just, I love these headphones so much. I miss them so much. Oh, it's so nice. Um, it's got the, all the ear tips in here. It's got this box. And here are the babies. Wow, this is 100% um, undisputed. The best sounding headphone, portable headphone I've ever heard. And the fact that, you know, I'm getting to experience all of this once again is a, it's a blessing. So here we go. Um, it's been a while since I've heard these, so it's going to basically be like hearing them again for the first time. I'm really excited. Uh, give me a moment here while I get these out. I just I want to be careful with them, you know? These are undoubtedly like the best um, in-ear headphone that money can buy. So this box, yeah, it comes with like, there's a manual and the warranty and the ear clips and all that stuff. Um, pretty, uh... Pretty standard, but like yeah, we're gonna have to do some beauty shots of these. These are just, they're just, they're just stunning, man. They're just stunning. I waited two months to get these back. It feels so good to be reunited. Yes! Damn, bro. All right, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Whoa! Holy fuck! Wow! Let's go! I miss these! I miss these so much! I'm so happy we are reunited! Holy fuck, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, it comes with a cable for these. Yeah, you know, I might get an amp for these. These are just like, literally mental. These are crazy, these are crazy street. These are the crazier ones, bro. So good old Barely Alive, what a, what a guy, Fusion Core, I Barely Alive. Wow! Ha! Huh? I miss these so much. Yeah, 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 so... I, I can't, I can't even really believe these, still. I love these headphones, they're, they're, they're among the best, I mean, I've got the Abyss 1266 on the table. You know, I've got the final um, audio uh, Heaven 8s. You know, I've got Ex Machina's. You know, I've heard all the Odysseys. I've heard all the in-ear Odysseys. Like, I mean, the LCD i4s are fucking insane. But the problem is, you know, they're open back and you need, like, a crazy amp for those. You know, these are... I mean, like I said, these are my favorite. But anyway, guys, um, this is the re-review of the hi Man RE2000 Pro. Um, let's talk about the sound. 
let's talk about the sound. So I would say that these sound exactly like a void air motion system. I'm not even kidding. Like the way they sound, the void system is horns. This, this headphone, it is made from brass on the inside. The inside part of it that reflects the sound is made of brass. I mean, they make instruments out of it. It's the same brass that the instruments that, you know, big, big name brass players use. Like, you know, Kenny G would have a brass instrument that would be incredibly high quality and he would probably have something made of something similar to this um now the low end let's talk about the sub bass well it sounds like a dual 18 inch pk sub like it sounds like pk subs on the low end you know um the pk like dual 18 inch subs yeah they're they're mental um, that's what these sound like the low end is just monstrous it's just like crazy in your face so let's talk about the low mids. The low mids on the RE2000s are some of the most sensual. And it's honestly, the low mids is like one of the reasons that I keep coming back to these headphones. Um, they have one of my favorite sounding low mids in the entire world. I mean, the Abyss 1266, um, these ones, I mean, obviously you can't compete with these when it comes to like the detail retrieval and you know, the dynamics and all that stuff. Um, obviously, you know, like they're not supposed to compete with these, like these are not made to go up against the 1266. They're completely different applications. You know, this for what it is, is the best. The low mids are captivating, sensual. They're just warm and milky. They're just so pleasant, like warm butter. Like, uh, I use this expression before, like it sounds like a campfire and it's raining and you've got a nice warm blanket around you. That's how like the low mids and the, and the upper mids sound like that whole frequency band is just, it's just so, it's just so pleasant to listen to. Like you can't, you can't compete with that. Like in this package to you, that that's the thing in this package, it's insane. Like the form factor, being able to get performance like that, you know, that's, there's nothing about these that on the low mids or the, or the low end, anything below below like 700 to a thousand hertz everything below that it's the most beautiful thing i've ever heard like i i cannot for the life of me think of i can't i when i have when i put them in i can't take them i can't put them down like i'll i'll be like all right i got work to do i gotta take them off like i gotta i gotta do something else now like i can't listen to music on these anymore right now like it's like i'm trying to finish this tune and it's like, nope, I, you know what, I can't get distracted with these. I'm just going to finish the video. But anyway, the mids, it's very in your face. Um, very typical hi-fi men, mid-range, but not in the way that it's unpleasant. But there is some songs where that is what makes the difference between it being my favorite headphone and not. Um, in some songs, I listen to this headphone. Um, I'd say for electronic music, because of the way the low end is presented, and the way that the uh, the mids and highs are represented, it's probably one of my favorite headphones to listen to electronic music on. The final audios, they're a lot more tame. I would say cleaner, like more more flat, more linear response. And these are a lot more exaggerated, um, but like not in a bad way, like in a pleasant way, like a good kind of exaggeration. It's like. I saw someone comment head fight. It makes the truth truthier. You know, it doesn't make it worse. It just changes the overall perception of it being a little bit more saturated. I guess you could say that. Yeah, they sound saturated. They sound very saturated, the mids. Um, I would say slightly shouty, but not really. Like a Susvara can be really shouty if you don't power it properly. Like that's evident, you know. But, you know, the highs, second favorite part of this headphone. Anyway... The highs, the way that the treble is presented is, is intoxicating. They're just so rich and sparkly and not, 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 not sibilant. Like they're bright headphones though. They are bright. They are forward in the highs and mids. I, I would say it's like a scoop in the low mids, but not like a hefty scoop and like slightly pushed up in like the, 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 the 350 Hertz ish range. And then the sub bass is just boosted by like 3 dB. That's basically kind of what these sound like, kind of, but they do it in a way to where 
Look, man, I, I don't I don't understand it, okay? I don't get it. I don't understand them. But these headphones also with this, this is what gives the stereo image the craziness. Like this this is the craziest little rig you could you could get. Yeah, let's talk about warranty and let's talk about build quality. So here's where things change. Um, I'm saying that the customer service is great. They will help you, but you have to be careful with these. They are not, they're delicate. Like you can break them. Like it's really easy to like, I don't know how it happened, but like this, it detached. They replaced it. Also, this, this tip came off the headphone when I was using it and it got lodged in my ear and it hurt really, really bad. And you have to be careful. Um, you cannot, you cannot, um, stick these in very deep. You have to make sure that you're being careful with them. Um, because they slip off. They can potentially slip off that. So some more real world situations, like basically if you buy these, you cannot take these out on the road, like traveling and stuff like you can't go out on the town with these in your pocket that would be a huge mistake you know these are for like you're at home you're getting on a plane you're getting on a long drive you're you're sitting down you're you're not moving that's what these are for to sit and enjoy you know they they do not have the durability of anything they're like a 10 in sound like a two in durability you know it's like these are a lot more durable. You know, these are like solid metal. Like, you know, these are for portable. These are great for portable. I'd recommend these all day. In conclusion, um, the Hyphenman RE2000 Pro, that is the best headphone that you could get for in-ears. <coughs> anyway, guys, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, please like, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell icon so you do not miss a beat. This is Pyre Records. This is the RE2000 Pro re-review and re-unboxing.